Hello Click Designers! So in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you where you can locate, access, and customize your very own box shot on Click Designs. So to start, we are going to go to the template section after we've logged in to our Click Designs. So click on the template category here on the navigation bar. And after you've clicked on templates, you are going to be greeted with different categories of different graphic design templates to choose from. So on here, there is a category labeled box shots. So all you have to do is click on that. And once you click on box shots, you'll be able to browse through an array of different designs, colors, and aesthetics of a specific box shot design that you want to use. But for this tutorial, we are going to be making one completely from scratch to show you how easy and efficient it can be. So simply hover over to this start from scratch button and click on the plus icon. When you click on the plus icon, it's going to ask you to select a design type. So we have the box shot icon selected and over here, just click on continue. And once you click on continue, it's going to give you several different blank box shot templates on different positions. So for this tutorial, let's try using the O3 2D right facing box shot. So let's just click on use template. And once you click on use template, it's going to bring you over here to the click designs editor. So this box shot has two different sides. So one over here on the front and one over here. So first let's try to work on the front facing portion of it. So just click on that section and click on create. Okay, so we're here now, we have the blank canvas for our box shot. And over here on the side, we have so many different options and categories that we can use to make this box shot uniquely our own. So we have the text section, image, background, shapes, elements, icons, and even illustrations. So let's begin. So I am going to start by customizing my background. So I'm gonna go over to the background section and I want my background to be a gradient. So I'm going to click on gradient here and select on. And now my background immediately has a gradient. So I'm going to customize that and then get back to you when I am done. All right, so this is how my background looks like so far. So all I did was choose radial gradient and also select two different colors with their color codes. You can also customize the scale of each color. So if you want this first color to be more prominent or maybe the second one. So I think that I'm happy with this. So now let's go on over to the illustrations and I want to put a graphic in the middle of my box shot. Okay, so I'm here in illustrations. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the search bar over here and I'm going to search for what I want and let's see if there are any illustrations that I can use for my box shot. Okay, so I'm done with my graphic. So I'm going to go over to the text section and I'm going to add some text onto my box shot. So feel free to add your product name, additional product information, anything that you deem necessary for your box shot. With the text, all I did was change the font. Um, I also adjusted the font size and for the curved text, all you have to do is scroll down over here and select the advanced text style. So turn that on and we have different types of text styles you can choose from. I chose the curved text option. And then for the color, I wanted to do another gradient. So just select gradient color. I chose linear gradient and then you can choose your own colors change the scale and even the gradient angle. So I wasn't happy with the initial illustration. So all I did was I went on over to shapes and I searched for a star and I chose this over here. So let me just show you. So I chose this, you can see it over here on the back. And then all I did was change the color and add some shadow. And then I chose another uh, illustration or element. So I went on over here to elements and I searched for laptop. So that's what I searched laptop. And then I just clicked one that I liked 
and I placed it on to the canvas. So I'm also going to add a shadow on this one just to add some dimension and I'm going to blur the shadow slightly as well. Okay, so this is what I have so far. So I think I'm going to try to add some more graphics. So I'm going to go on over to the elements or the shape section. So I'm going to go on over to the shape section and I'm going to doodles. So there are tons of options over here as you can see. I'm going to play around with this and I'm going to try to add a couple of graphics over here. Some doodle graphics to kind of spice up and really make the laptop box shot template pop. All right, so this is what I have currently. I just added a bunch of really small black doodle elements from the shape section, as you can see over here. So I just chose some and added them to my box shot template. So I think that I just need to add a bit more text and then once I'm finished, I will get back to you. Okay, so this is my finished design. So obviously you can get way more creative with this play with all of these settings, add more shapes, more graphics, more text. It's completely up to you and you obviously have the creative freedom. But I'm going to finish up with this design and when you're happy with that, all you have to do is click on save and exit over here. And once you click on save and exit, it's going to show you your box shot design or what you've worked on so far. So I'm happy with this. So let's move on to the second image. So click on that and click on create. Okay, so we're back to the Click Designs editor. We have the corner area of the box shot. So I'm going to basically just go on ahead and play with the initial settings that we had earlier. Okay, so I have my background. So for the gradient, instead of a radial one, I decided to do the linear gradient. I put in the same colors and I just adjusted the scale and the angle. So to view how it looks like so far with your first design, you can always click on preview here on top and it's basically gonna show you how your box shot looks like so far. So let's continue on. So all I'm gonna do next is I'm just going to be adding in the Click Designs logo. So I'm gonna do that. I'm just going to remove the background and I'm going to add that onto the bottom of the box shot corner. Okay, so I'm going to add that over here on the box shot corner on the bottom and I'm just going to make this portion of it really quick and easy. So I'm just going to add another icon of a laptop graphic. So let me try and put in this one over here and obviously you can add more graphics, make this as creative and as eye catching as you possibly can but I think I am happy with how this looks like. So when I'm done with this, I'm just gonna click on save and exit. And this is my finished box shot. So when you're happy with that and when you're happy with your design, all you have to do is click on save. Once your design is finally saved, you have the option to either export your design or you can exit and go right back to the Click Designs dashboard. So you can view your new box shot already here. You can easily go back to edit it if you have any other changes and you can even export from here as well. So you can do that, preview it, download it, and even add it to your drive. So that is it. That is how you can locate and edit your very own box shots on Click Designs. I hope that this tutorial was helpful and thank you so much for watching.